People don't care about what you have to say. They only care about how it makes them feel. Why is that? Great ideas and interesting insights fill libraries all over the world. The only guarantee those shelves receive are cobwebs and continual threats of obsolescence from TV and TikTok. It's not that people don't want your knowledge and opinion. It's just that you're one of eight billion. Zoom crosses continents and Apple's iPhone is from China. Talk used to be cheap. Now, it's free. Everyone is in charge of lowering the drawbridge to their mind when they feel safe, when they feel what you're saying is good for them. A three-piece suit will get you much further into the castle than a tank top with some of those rusty deodorant pit stains. Now, it's July, and I value the freedom of a sleeveless shirt as much as the next guy. But ask yourself, how would someone dress up what they say to you? Some things of incredible importance and grave consequence do not feel good to hear. No attempt to make the medicine go down with the sing-songy spoonful of sugar. So what should you do if you've got something to say? If you actually cracked the code, got some gold? Possible rephrase, maybe people don't care what you have to say. They only care about how you say it. The feeling of your words are universal. The facts in your idea, however true and vetted, feel weak. Declarative statements of any consequential relevance can sound like an advertisement. If the modern brain has grown to do anything, it is deflate the pop-ups. The children of capitalism playfully banish abundant banner ads. We have no issue with our ability to selectively pay attention to pixels that aren't paid for. Spokespeople often don't look human. You might ask, why would someone get all worked up over a topic that they don't truly believe in? Isn't the number of calories burned by a TV talking head during their impassioned diatribe directly correlate with the likelihood that they are in fact telling the truth? Maybe. Maybe not. I mean, money. Money's hot. Our increasingly seated population struggles to habitually pick up a weight, knowing full well that it will balloon their beautiful bicep. Why would someone lose their breath to a lavalier if there wasn't a life on the line? There is. Just might be the professional life of the charlatan trying to get the show. A criticism often lobbed at modern human is that we struggle more and more to have a connective conversation. Some of us just go back and forth, waiting for our turn to talk. What happens when two people talk, but no one listens? Does enough make it to the subconscious for two pals to persist? Was it social media? Our kindergarten teacher's talking style? The decades-long decline of religion or the loss of our collective guile? Maybe you just need alkaline water and that trip you've been putting off. You're told that when trying to convince someone, you should ask yourself, so what, after each sentence. Make sure you're keeping things relevant. Maybe instead you should check your smartwatch's heart rate. See if you're throwing enough heat to help make someone's blood boil. If you get too fancy with your word choice, fewer people are even going to understand what you're saying. Keep the verbiage somewhere between the coasts and the camouflage. Fewer brains that can relate will equate to smaller brains. Even the people that do understand each and every carefully crafted word will need an extra second to let your sentiments sink in. Extra time in unnecessary linguistic limbo means less time in the heaven that is the heart. Do not spend all your time deciding on what to say. In fact, spend 49% of your time picking out the points and 51% packaging. Your conclusion should avoid confusion. Smart-sounding statements alone will seem unsatisfactory to the stubborn. 
What's the point of having the best view if everyone gets in line in front of you? You don't have to believe your own thoughts. Why would someone else automatically listen to them? How many things run on repeat in your brain that aren't even useful, that aren't interesting or unique? Modernity, we think in these mental remixes of our loved ones, car commercials, meme captions, and TikTok tones. Are you really built for tough? Do you need to be? Is it really you who thinks that way, or the guy she told you not to worry about? You are always going to be one voice within a chorus that sings the same song at different times. Put a little vibrato in your voice. Face the audience. And summon the thing you know that needs to be said. Not because you want to say it. Because they need to hear it. Because they need to feel it. Keep it simple. Be clear. Talk straight. No fear. Well, from you. Loud and heavy. Hit them hard. Make them feel. The whole crowd.